Do you feel most days that you are a spiritual giant? That you have a thriving prayer life and that you could just conquer the devil at any moment and keep moving forward for Jesus? Yeah, me neither. Most of us typically don't feel like we are spiritual giants. Most days, our questions are more like, Lord, why can't I hear you? Why don't I feel like I'm getting anywhere in my prayer life? Why do I feel like I'm the only one who cares about the spiritual health of our family, our marriage, our children? Why doesn't my husband rise up to be the spiritual leader that he's been called to be? Why do I feel like I'm constantly in a battle? Well, the Bible has an answer for that. And it's Genesis chapter 3, where the Lord is doling out the punishment to the woman and the serpent. And he says to them, I will put enmity between you, the serpent, and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. That word enmity means hostility. It means enemy. He said, I will make you, Satan, and the woman enemies. The enemy comes after us girls far more than he comes after our families. And in my book, I Am Ezra, the Glory of a Woman, we talk about that. You see, in Genesis 2.18, the Bible tells us that we were created to be a helpmeet. Those two words in Hebrew are Ezer Konegdo, and they are beautifully complex. And it shows what our real spiritual DNA is. And it is not to be trampled on. It is not to just be a wife and a mom and a cook and a cleaner. It is not to be those things. It is to be a warrior. And we dive into that in this book, I Am Ezra, the Glory of a Woman. I tell a little bit of my story and I go into the deep, deep meaning of those two amazing words. I hope that you will go on this journey with me. And when you get through reading it, you are going to join the rank of the army of rising Ezers who are coming into knowing the identity of who they truly are in Christ. Take the journey with me.